OpenAI is launching the GPT store next week. We just received the email yesterday uh, saying that they'll be launching next week. Not sure what exact day, but it looks like they'll be able to launch the GPT store next week. So now when we're building our GPTs, we'll be able to share this publicly on the GPT store. So that way everybody can interact with them. So here are five things to consider to make sure you're launching your GPT in the GPT store successfully. So these five points are going to be based on the guidelines that OpenAI provided. If you guys want to go ahead and read through the whole process, you can go ahead and check it out. It's on openai.com slash brand GPTs and chat GPT. You can take a look at the whole process, but what I've done is summarized it into five points. So that way it's a lot easier for you guys to understand. So let's get into it. Number one naming conventions for GPT. So when it comes to naming your GPT, think short and snappy, similar to an app name that's in the app store. So this helps in making it easily recognizable and fitting well in places like the chat GPT sidebar that will exist in the chat GPT store. A little advice, try to steer clear from ending the name with GPT. While it's not a strict rule, it does give your project a unique identity. Number two, verifying your builder profile. So on ChatGPT, we have to go to settings, the builder profile, and enable your name or a verified website to be displayed. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me show you guys where exactly that is. So if we go to chat.openai.com, that's the main page, we're going to come down here on the left hand side in the bottom and click on our name. So once you click on your name, you're going to click on setting in beta. And then you're going to come down here and click on build and then you're going to click on the name right here if you want to display your name as the builder of the gpt on the public uh, gpt store or you can click on the website if you want to click the uh, select a domain that you want to uh, put as the display name but i'm going to click on my name here so now whenever i'm building my gpt and publishing it to the gpt store it's going to show up as the gpt workshop so again, this name is populated from your billing details. So whatever you put on your billing details is going to show up right here. Unfortunately, you won't be able to change this right now, but hopefully down the line, they'll be able to give us the option to change the name and select it from here. Number three, consistency in branding. So moving on to branding consistency, if your GPT is part of an existing service, it makes sense to match the name. So for example, if you have a service called Meowlytics, name your GPT the same. But if your GPT is more of a support tool for the service, consider a name that reflects this like Meowlytics API helper. This helps in maintaining a clear and cohesive brand image. Number four, publishing your GPT as public. So let's go ahead and do this. So again, back at ChatGPT here. So I'm going to click on the explore section. And this is where all of our GPTs are going to live. So when you're creating your GPTs, uh, this is where you'll find it. So right now it says my GPTs in here, are all the ones that I've built. And obviously I've built a lot, so I have a lot more in here. And then at the bottom, you'll see these are the recently used ones. And then all the way down is going to be made by OpenAI. So right now, as you can see, all of my GPTs says only me. That's because it's published just for me. So what I'm going to do, let's take a look at this calendar app because this is the last one that I created. So I'm going to go and click on edit GPT. And if we come down here on the top right corner in the save, if we click this, so now as you can see, uh, there's published to only me, anyone with the link and everybody. So one thing you have to keep in mind, you got to make sure that you're not selecting the anyone with the link but clicking on the everyone right here because as you can see if i click on only me it's just going to be published to me but if i click on everyone this is what's going to show up on the gpt source so it's going to say calendar zap by gpt workshop and again the gpt workshop is the naming that we enabled earlier um, on point number three uh, two so once you're done here you'll click on confirm and now, as you can see, it says calendar zap by GPT workshop. So this is what's going to show up on the GPT store. So now if we go on the explore section, as you can see right now on calendar zap, it says everybody. Point number five, legal and ethical consideration. And lastly, let's touch upon the legal and ethical aspects of naming your GPT. It's crucial to avoid using trademarks or logos without the right permissions. Again, you guys can go back and check out the whole uh, document on OpenAPI's website. This gives you further more detail. And also names that involve public figures, so profanity or sensitive topics are off limits as well. And if your GPT integrates third-party services, you got to make sure to mention this in your description. It's all about being respectful and transparent 
transparent in your naming choices. So make sure you're following the guidelines because otherwise OpenAI might remove your GPT from the GPT store and you don't want that happening. All right, hope you guys found this video helpful. This is going to be very exciting. Again, this is the whole point of building GPTs. And if you build the right GPT and people find it helpful, you never know, people might end up using it. And I'm pretty sure down the line, I think they have mentioned this before, but uh, OpenAI is going to start to monetize the GPT store, which means that if you have a GPT that's popular and people are using it, you will be able to make money off of it. So make sure you're practicing starting now so that way you're ready for launching your GPT in the GPT store, whatever it gets launched let me know what you guys think in the comments below i think it's very exciting but hopefully everything will work out and it will be a successful launch thanks for watching